This is Mark with Productivity501.com and um, I've been doing an experiment trying to see how much of my life I can move over to, to being paperless and I wanted to show you Devon Think Pro Office which is what I've been using to organize all the, the scanned files I've uh, accumulated. Um, particularly right today I want to show you how you can use it to auto classify things because I found when you're dealing with a paperless office oftentimes the just the scanning it and getting the paper converted to digital format is the easy part the hard part is figuring out how you're going to organize that information how you're going to quickly deal with a hundred scan pieces of paper and and put them where they need to be and all all that side of things of actually managing the documents once you have them so what we're going to look at here is I've got Devon Think Pro open here and I've got some some folders here. The particular one we're going to look at is money, receipts, sudden link. So it's the cable company. So these are the receipts from from the cable company and I can see, see them down here. Um, these have been scanned in and OCR has been performed on them so they are recognized as the, there's, the text is being recognized. Now what Devon Thing let, lets you do is when you add new items it lets you look for things that are similar and then automatically classify or put things in the folders based on where other things that are similar to that. Um, this generally works pretty well because if you get you know five or six bills come in at one time you scan them all in it makes it very easy to put them where the other bills that are like that are already. So for example here we're going to open up um, the Sunlink folder and import some other bills here. And we're going to put them just into this folder called incoming. Now if I was capturing them from a scanner I might scan them directly to this to this folder. So now I'm going to go into the incoming folder and I'm going to select one of them here and I can click down here on classify and it's going to look at all the text in this document and then go out and look at all the text in the other documents in the system and figure out where it fits best. So in this case, the place it seems to fit best is the sudden link folder under money receipts, which is exactly where we want it. So then we just click on move to, and it moves it there. It automatically moves to the next item in the list, which it also says would best fit in sudden link money receipts. And the nice thing about the way this works is if for some reason it gets it wrong, or there's two that are, are very similar, they're more than likely going to show up underneath it right here. So I'll click on move to here, and I've classified those documents. The beauty of this is I don't have to remember exactly what my folder structure is. Um, if I rearrange my folder structure because it makes more sense, um, I don't have to remember how I change things. As long as I've got a logical folder structure, it's going to figure out where the best place is to put those items. Um, and this may seem like a small thing, but if you're dealing with hundreds of scanned documents, it makes a huge difference in how quickly you can put your documents in place that, that makes sense um, and classified in, in your organizational system. So we'll be doing some other screencasts like this. Please let me know in the comments what you think uh, of these and what other types of questions you'd like to see answered. Hopefully this will give people that are looking at kind of establishing their own paperless office some, some ideas and um, maybe some tricks to make things easier along the way.